Welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show for week number 10 as the Mustangs go on the road for the last two regular season games. They go to Wilkes-Barre twice and first a trip to the back mountain to take on the Cougars in Misericordia. I'm James Widener here with Ed Hoddle. And Ed, uh, not the result you wanted against FDU, but um, they'll talk a little bit about that game with FDU. Obviously, you're in it for a little bit. Um, FDU just able to make some plays. And uh, after watching the film, uh, your thoughts on the game Saturday? Yeah, I, you know, that's really a great way to put it. They made plays and we didn't. Um, you know, we had some opportunities that I think, um, had we been able to capitalize on, may have changed the complexion of the game a little bit. Um, there were some some external influences on a couple of uh, occasions that didn't do us a whole lot of favors either. Um, but, you know, we have to be in control of what we can control. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, we've got to make those plays when the opportunities present themselves uh, to have expectation of success. And now going into the last two games, obviously you got Misericordia and then you got Kings, who's already clinched share the MAC title, the AQ. That comes in two weeks, but now you're going to Misericordia, a team that came down here last year in a homecoming um, that, that really gave you some fits. Um, looking at Misericordia, what can we expect out of the Cougars? Yeah, you know, well-coached physical football team. Um, you know, they've got some athletes on both sides of the ball. And, um, you, you know, it's, it's another team that, you know, you, you got to go on the road. It's a tough place to play. It's a long trip. It's an overnight. And, you know, it's packed full of excuses. But mm -hmm. at the end of the day, we've got a job to do. And we've got to go, you know, be a better football team than we were last week. Obviously, if we look back at the FDU game, and offensively, you were making – you made some plays. Of course, FDU, their quarterback, you counted for five touchdowns. But, um, you know, running the ball, throwing the ball, you know, having Nair back, Nair back and you have, you know – Edmonds running the ball. You have had you've had different running backs. Let's talk a little bit about how the offense still is able to produce. You know, you know, obviously you've got different people doing that. Sure, and that's you know, that's quality of depth. You know, yes. that, that's guys. Um, you know, guys that, that started the year a little bit further down the depth chart, getting an opportunity because of injury, um, you know, really stepping forward. You know, Ed Emmons has done a phenomenal job the last couple of weeks, and um, you know, we're excited about his future. Um, you know, LJ's. You know likely going to be back this week so you know again you know giving us that that two-pronged approach to the running game and um you know having louis back next year you know mm -hmm. will be will be a cool thing so you know for us it, you know it, it's the depth and it you know it speaks to the quality of student and, and the quality of athlete we have in our program and um you know they just keep going out and getting it done and obviously defensively you're able to make some plays as well and there's been a lot of contributions by different people on the defense talk about your defensive unit um you know same thing right every time they play they get better you know it may not look like it on film um you know i think we you know coming into the season we had two guys that had started more than five games in their entire career um so you know again every single snap that they take we're getting better and um you know again it, it doesn't always show in results and you know but it, we're getting better and those guys um you know learn and grow every week so obviously now that the mac title is out of the question the the playoffs are still kind of in question with possibly to be in the Mac Centennial Bowl. Obviously, ECACs are out there. Obviously, you like to win the Mac title. How do you keep these guys focused in the last two games? Again, Kings is at the end. They've already clinched everything, but they're playing for seeding at this point. How do you keep the guys focused for these last two games? Well, I think it's, you know, again, the way we approach it, and we actually talked about this in the locker room earlier in the week, is, you know, football never ends. You stop playing games, but the evaluation, the drive to, to get better, the drive to be the best player that you can be, that never stops. So, right. you know, that should be the motivating factor for our guys, um, you know, motivating, you know, send our seniors out w with a win, um, you know, have an opportunity to compete in the postseason, you know, I, even with the expanded playoffs and, and, and so many more bowl opportunities, not only for, you know, the Max Centennial, but nationwide, mm -hmm. it's still pretty special to play in the postseason. Yes. You, you know, when you look at 240 plus teams, 40 of which will make the NCAA tournament, um, and, you know, another handful make bowl games, there's a lot of people turning their stuff in you know, Monday after the last game. Sure. So, you know, that drive is still an important piece, um, you know, and, and should be a significant motivating factor for our guys. All right, Coach, good luck today. Thank you. All right, first of two trips to Wilkes-Barre, Stevenson, Misericordia coming up next. Thank you for watching. Talk to you next week, and go Stanks.